Although the, the majority of our uh, artist residencies take place in public schools, um, we decided we needed to take another tact and with IUP College of Education having such a national reputation for quality educators, we thought we needed to look at how we can influence those future educators with arts integration. What the concept was behind this residency was that we would work with non-art educators and get them excited about the idea of what arts could do in their um, curriculum. In a developmentally appropriate classroom, play is an acceptable way of teaching children. And so it's very important that um, teachers are prepared to give them the kinds of experiences that they need, including play. And that's very important right now because it seems as though there's such an emphasis on testing. I knew I could offer them techniques that they could easily incorporate in the classroom that would boost their kids' self-esteem, not crush it, and not make it so that they compare themselves with others, but consider their own art unique and worthwhile. She stressed a lot about process over product, which means you know having fun with the way that you make it rather than trying to make something that's technically perfect or technically good. And especially because I'm going to be working with students with disabilities, a lot of them aren't going to really have the ability to make a product that might not look up to par with other students on their grade level. So it's so much more important to focus on how they feel and how they're working on it rather than what it looks like at the end. Over the course of all the art experiences, the paint intensive experiences that I gave them, um, I noticed that, you know, one by one, they were becoming more relaxed with just enjoying the process and the expression. I looked forward going to that class just to like sit down and paint, you know, not have to sit there and copy notes from a PowerPoint or from the board. And I can imagine children feel the same way. It definitely gave me a better perspective on why art is so important, especially in the early grades. It gave me so much more reasons about why and how it related to their cognitive development, which is sort of a more scientific and more concrete reason why we should be doing art programs in schools. There were a variety of changes that I saw in my students as they learned about arts integration and using art in the classroom. The students who thought it would be an okay thing uh, seemed to, by the end of the experience, really buy into, well, this isn't just an okay thing, it's a fabulous thing, and this really works, and they could see how they could apply some of those techniques in the classroom. And the students who th were very skeptical and had no desire to participate in the experience came around. One of them in particular took almost the entire residency to come around, but when she did, it was a fabulous light bulb experience and you could just, you could see the transformation take place in her. And by the end of the experience, she was probably one of the strongest advocates for arts integration in the class. And there was the one last holdout <laughs> who just, was so frustrated she did not want to even do the project but when we were doing the collaborative painting and her square was the one that was left she set aside time to do that and it came out so beautifully her colors were so soft and fleshy compared to all the other kids you know she, I think she became inspired seeing that her own square was had a unique beauty, beautiful quality of its own and she literally said that she was going to go home and buy paint. <laughs> I said, yes, we did it. 